My name's Edward Chella and I'm here at Art Palm Springs representing my gallery, Edward Chella Art and Architecture in Los Angeles. I brought several artists with me today uh, for the exhibition here in Palm Springs that I think uh, speak about and sort of respond to the natural environment and the light and color here in Palm Springs. We have work by Chris Truman behind me. Chris is an artist who has his MFA from Claremont College here in uh, Southern California and also teaches there at this time. Uh, Chris works in a very wet-on-wet -wet process uh, using a paper called UPO, which is a, a synthetic water-resistant paper which allows him to layer paint and remove it in selectively using kind of a washing technique that allows these sort of transparent colors to recede and advance on the paper surface. Uh, I think it's a very innovative uh, process of making painting um, that advances a sort of uh, technical aspect of, of using new materials in uh, unconventional ways. Uh, behind me also is uh, Robert Minervini's work. Robert is uh, an Oakland-based painter, has his, uh, has his MFA from the San Francisco Art Institute. And um, we thought uh, Robert would be a wonderful artist to bring to Palm Springs because of his interest in sort of these utopian compositions of landscape and man-made forms. Looking at the uh, environment of the desert, uh, Robert is collecting the, the great uh, richness of botanical specimens of succulents and uh, the exotic plant forms here found in the desert and then composing them into sort of arrangements of man-made arrangements of, of balancing between art and nature. Uh, also, we brought the work of Jennifer Balandi. Jennifer was a, a, a notable participant in Desert X last year, which was a biennial of artists working in um, creating large format installations into the des desert environment. Jennifer's project, uh, The Visible Distance, was uh, particularly notable uh, as she, um, she colonized uh, uh, 12 billboards uh, across Palm Springs and replace the advertising on the billboards with an image of the mountain that would come into registration as, uh, as one drove past the billboard. So one would sort of immediately recognize these objects as both sort of um, photographic you know, holders, sort of frames of sorts, but also recognize the fact that they um, sort of impede our view of what the natural splendor of the desert is and the great spectacular uh, mountain range that surrounds Palm Springs. We also brought work by Richard Roth with us. Richard is a painter who just recently moved to California from uh, the East Coast and has been practicing as a painter there for many years. Um, one of the things that animates and fascinates me about Richard's work is that the edge of the canvas is something that artists over generations and centuries has, has struggled with. And Richard is thinking of these objects as both sculptures as well as paintings. And so each side, the top, the bottom, and the four sides of the box uh, which he constructs are covered with uh, uh, the con composition of the painting continues on to those other surfaces which are often obscured by framing or or ignored by the artist. Um, I also think it's fascinating that as um, invest, you know, further investigating this relationship between sculpture and painting is something that's interesting interests me. Uh, other artists over uh, the last 50 years have begun and, and it further explored this, but Richard has his own unique composition and strategy for looking at these uh, formal compositions.